and then next thing she knows, she said there was a bang and the roof was being torn off her place. Kia ora. Some time ago, I made two videos about Kiwi accent, specifically about the way New Zealanders tend to pronounce the e、eh、sound and the e、eh、sound. In this video, we're going to talk about up talk, which is also common in New Zealand English. Up talk. Up talk. Up talk is a way of speaking. In which your voice rises at the end of a phrase or a sentence. Sort of inside the house, and was watching the weather get worse and worse, thinking, you know, what's going on? And crazy grey mouse today.、Uh, and then next thing she knows, she said there was a bang, and the roof is being torn off her place. She's definitely holding it together very, very well, but she's of course shaken as anyone would be. But I mean, she's okay, and she's laughing and cracking jokes. So I think that's the best you can do in a situation like this. According to Professor Paul Warren of Victoria University of Wellington, uptalk is more likely to be used by young women. However, recent studies show that there are male and older uptalkers too, like this one. I come down on a Monday and I leave on a Wednesday. And while、well, I'm in Wellington,、uh, that's why I live in my apartment. Anyone outside of a Greater Wellington area is entitled to the entitlement to get a culture of fiscal discipline in place. In many cases, using uptalk doesn't mean the speaker is not sure about what they're saying. Instead, they use it to draw listeners' attention. Here's another example. Oh, we really need to ask the minister to、um, do another U-turn. I'd, I'd suggest、um, uh, food insecurity in homes is a real thing. Uh, that leads to the anxiety of the children that we serve.、Uh, we understand that the cost of living is rising day by day. We just heard on the news this morning about the rise in road charges. So, what I say to the minister of、um, the associate minister of education: Do not take the money,、uh, the food out of our children's mouths. Take it from somewhere else. This is so needed in our, the communities we serve. And my school is an example of that. Mm. Through、um, healthy minds, healthy spirits,、uh, pukus that are full, we get results like this. Also, according to Professor Warren, those who use uptalk use it to try to invite the listener into the conversation, while those who hear it think uptalk shows that the speaker is not confident in what they're saying. How about you? Do you use uptalk, and what do you think of it?